I don't think we're allowed in here. Did you hear that? I did. Are you a man? <gasps> Shh. Come here, listen, listen, listen. What the fuck was that? It is the spirit that is here. guys i am so excited because i am officially back on youtube every single tuesday there will be a new video i'm excited to get this one out this week because it is the day before the release of my podcast the haunted estate i've never been so excited for anything in my whole life so i thought to kick it off we had to go on a spooky trip and here's the thing i want joel to come with me and joel absolutely hates spooky stuff so we are gonna go over to my parents house and i'm gonna tell him i have a surprise and then i'm gonna make him sad but that's okay because i know he's gonna have fun and at the end we will make lot of memories and it will be magical i already feel bad i'm too nice to do this i'm too nice but let's spook the boy out we are here and the unsuspecting joel is in the garage i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know if he may just say no and then i'll have to do it myself and i always bail when i do it myself joel yeah. hey joel what I have a surprise for you. Oh yeah, what, are we going to Disney World? We're gonna go on a trip, yes. Not to Disney World, somewhere better. Better? The beer store? We're not going to the beer store. We're we're going, hey, the beer store? hey, we're going to Niagara Falls. Okay, I love Niagara Falls. We're gonna stay at a hotel. Okay, nice it's, one. It's, it's fancy, it's really fancy. What's it called? The Prince of Wales. Okay. It is for a YouTube video. Okay. And it's called Our Night at the Haunted Prince Wales Hotel. Yeah, not going. Yes, you are. <laughs> Joel! No. Yeah. Joel, it's going. gonna be fun. You need to break in your ghostly virginity. You do. That's why you always drive yourself. So you can leave whenever you want. <sighs> I promise we're gonna do fun stuff! Yo, what's up guys? You know where we are. We are at Niagara on the Lake and we are staying at the Prince of Wales Hotel. Over here, this one right there. Doesn't that look super pretty? Anyways, I have heard so much about this place. I've seen it so much on TikTok, so much on YouTube, and I thought it's our time. We're in Ontario. Everything has been shut down for literally a year. We have just come out of red. We still have to wear masks inside and all of that kind of, you know, super fun stuff. Anyways, online, the stories are about room 207. So I rented that room. There has been faucets that turn on, lights that turn off, people leave in the middle of the night and guess what? People haven't even talked about the things that have happened there. They won't repeat it. So that is amazing. But do you want to know the coolest part? When we came in, the lady was so nice. She's like, yeah, that's in the newer part. You need to see this other part of the hotel. And she gave us another room in the oldest part. And she kind of did one like the. So I don't know what's happened there, but we're going to do it. We're going to go double deep, double feature. Let's do this. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very so interesting. Much detail. Look at these paintings. <sighs> Creepy, man. 
I think that this lady looks like Joel. Joel goes. That stand, looks nothing like that. Stand below it. Stand below it. All right. All right. You guys ready? Take your mask off. It looks nothing like that. <laughs> it does a little bit. Okay, guys. We are going to the room. This is haunted. Room 207. Dun, dun, dun. It is nice that we've already been in here, dropped some stuff off, but this, okay. First, we're back in time. Second, you need stairs to get on the bed, which is an absolute yes, because I am small. <laughs> but here's what I think. Okay, right here, this dude is fat not the judgiest face you've ever seen in your whole life. And if he's not judging you enough, boom. He has a more human face than the human does. There's a toilet that has a phone beside it. Who this would put a phone? That's like all old yeah. hotels. <laughs> what? I've never seen such a thing. Okay, tell them what happened earlier. So, Slam and I are kind of lazy, whatever. We went out for a nice big meal, really good time. We're sitting on the bed chilling, just relaxing, because that's what brothers and sisters do. A bag which was sitting here, and has been sitting here the entire time, randomly fell off. Like, and it didn't even just like, it's not like it was on the edge. It was full on off. And it was here, and it was full of sweaters and a blanket that we had just bought down on. But it had been sitting there for an hour with no movement. Nobody touched it. Joel was on the bed. I was standing right here, and it just went boom, boom right there. And this is the most haunted room in this hotel. Yeah, so apparently, lights turn on and off, lights flicker, the shower and the faucets turn on. Some things have happened that people won't even talk about. They won't come back. They leave in the middle of the night. So you know what, we had our first moment over here, so I'm excited to try and like talk to them, see what's going on, find out, maybe we'll catch some EVPs, we will see. Now here's the thing, you know what, I'm really proud of you for coming with me. I think you're gonna be in to the Haunted Adventures. You guys, she tricked me into it, don't let it fool you. <laughs> she tricked me into it. All right guys, let's get spooky. Joel's hotel room haunted tours, come on in. We got some sketchy closet that kind of freaks me out. Ignore our stuff. <laughs> Coming into a very Victorian era glass lamp that weighs 500 pounds. Don't try to pick it up. Coming over to a quaint little desk. We got the king size bed awkwardly high enough to hide a whole bunch of bodies. Then we'll go over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we'd hang our suit if we were heading out tomorrow. And we have a great window of ambiance onto a black roof. <laughs> what about this dude right here? Uh, we have Edward the Prince of Wales. Those very condescending eyes watching me sleep. <laughs> right across from your bed. Yo, are you sleeping or are you making sexy time? Well, guess what? He's in for the show. He's ready. And he's also going to bring his dog, who's definitely going to judge you. You know, I actually wasn't even that scared, but then we watched some YouTube videos about this place. I got to chill. All right, now, what's your favorite part of the whole entire room? I like the bed. Yeah? You like the post? The bed is big. Where the are you going to shove heavy. those? The bed is strong. Yeah? The bed is strong. That's very weird. My favorite is the boobs on this thing. Oh, yeah. Look at those jugs. Perky. Anyways, guys, we have two rooms, so now we're heading off to show you the other haunted hotel room. Look at how pretty the ceilings are. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Elevator roulette. Elevator roulette. Elevator roulette. Elevator roulette. <laughs> Ah, oh, no one was there. <laughs> Steak. It smells old. It's like flowers, like potpourri. It smells old. These mirrors are in every single room. Let's turn the lights on. They're actually gateways. Gateway mirrors? I was just gonna check what's behind this ominous closet door. <sighs> Nothing. Every single hotel room that we go to, Joe goes, are there dead children in the closet? What has hurt you? Who hurt you? 
that you think there's dead children in the closets. In case you guys don't know, uh, before I had a job where I worked on the road a lot, and I spent a lot of nights in hotels, and I always made a point to walk around and check all the closets and doors because everyone's heard horror stories. Or have you seen the movie Taken? How many hotels have you stayed in? Ah, uh, I tried to figure this out before with my years on the road. Between 150 and 108 nights in the road, I'm upwards of a thousand nights in hotels. Okay, over a thousand. Okay, listen hotels. though, a thousand hotels. Yeah. Have you ever found a dead body? No. Have you ever had a haunting experience? No. But you also stay in like fresh builds. Yeah, always new places. Okay, you know, let fast. me get here. We left the hotel room downstairs with the battery on this thing full. 100. percent We let it charge. We chilled until it got dark. And we are up here, and we have one single bar on this thing. It died walking, honestly, 200 meters, if that. Brand new camera, by the way. Suspicious. Brand new camera, brand new battery, just for this trip. Very suspicious. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> go on with the tour of some more, Selena. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Selena's Haunted Hotel Room Tour. Check it out. All of the lamps in this hotel have hoops. Look it. I know that I should be a grown-up because I am one, but all of these hotel rooms have boobs. And then, bam, look what we have. Is this a mirror? Is it a mirror or is it a portal to another dimension? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's check over here. <laughs> all in this room, we have ourselves a shower. Now, what I do know is that this is fun and there's a lot of room for sex and time. I'm sorry, Joel. Then, there's a bathtub with jets which I'm not gonna turn on because think of everyone's butthole fleeks that are in there. Then, giant mirror. Giant bitch and a giant mirror. Okay, look at this bed. Does this felt look like pottery? This is beautiful. It looks like it something from beautiful. Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. It's not very bouncy. Now look at this wallpaper. Is this paisley? I don't know, but it is magical and beautiful. Right here, we have the Jersey Lily. Huh. Okay, ba back up, I bang. Huh. Would do. Okay. Oh, would do. Would do. Over here, cousins. That's definitely a good time. Okay, I shouldn't be telling people <laughs> this. Again, another lamp. Another lamp. More boobs. More boobs. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we're just gonna hang out for a bit. Wait till it gets a little later. It is only quarter to 11 right now. And, uh. Hopefully, we catch something spooky, you guys. Except the fact that now our batteries died, so we're gonna let this charge and go grab another camera and another battery. Thanks, ghost! Shh. Come here, listen, listen, listen. Should I have to be on? I don't think so. What the fuck was that noise? I don't know, man. What was that noise? That was people talking. Wow, what the heck? I'm sure the camera caught that. That's, That's okay. crazy. Let's charge this. Okay, so on the internet, there are a bunch of reviews about this place to talk about it being haunted and all that kind of stuff and the experiences that people had. But the whole story is about Molly McGuire. So Molly was apparently in this room. They don't really know. At the front desk, she said this is kind of a newer part of the hotel, but everything's been kind of rebuilt and redone. But this, on the internet, across the webs and the YouTube videos, this is the room that has the scariest stuff that happens. So this is all about Molly McGuire. Molly was up here waiting for her husband to come home, looking out the window for her soldier when a man saw her standing there. This was in 1812 when there was a war here and this guy was like whoa enemy soldier bam ended up shooting her ran upstairs he's like oh no I shot this woman and she ended up dying so apparently she's the one that walks the hotels and people see there's literally paintings all over this place of all these people and like they're very haunting like I know they're antiques and they're cool like that but they're totally spooky and they're totally haunting the weird thing about this room and Joel will commence, we have had the air conditioning on the whole time and it is so hot right it is it's incredible how hot it is we are literally either cold or hot the batteries are dying and then of course the bag when we came in so the energy is very strange kind of to start usually you know when I walk into a hotel room I kind of know if it's gonna be haunted or not I'm gonna be honest I've gone to a lot of haunted hotels haunted Airbnbs but they're not so those videos kind of never made it to fruition but this is one of the ones where I walked in and I was kind of like wow the feel when you walk in the roses everywhere it sets the mood for the whole entire night so here's our plan I have the dowsing rods for us. We're gonna do a cross 
for yes and open for no. I love the dazzling rods. I feel like even if your body does manipulate it, it's kind of for a reason, but you don't choose it. It's kind of like they're being manipulated. You're being manipulated, something like that. I've always trusted them. For me, it's the way that I feel that m me and my brother connect the most. When it comes to a Ouija board, I don't know what it is. I don't trust them and I don't like playing with them. I've talked about it many, many times. It's not a huge jam for me. Will I do it? Of course, but I'm not gonna do it here tonight. I have the thermometer here with us. I have the dowsing rods um, and I have the EVP reader. So I think we're in for a lot of fun here. I'm gonna get Joel to jump in with the dowsing rods. We're gonna ask some questions, see if Molly's here. If you hear anything in the background, I want you to comment down below what you hear. Let me know if I find anything while we're editing. I will put it in, but guys, let's jump into it. Okay. <clears throat> it's first, really hot in here. First of all, I think that it is very important for us to completely center ourselves, okay? Great, concentrate. I'm really sorry. Okay, reconcentrate. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Slay. <laughs> what? I fucking stink. Dude, my butt is haunted. Stop. My butt is haunted. It just is what it is. Okay, I never grew up. Okay. <clears throat> To any. Oh my god. The fans oh just my... turned off. Right as we're starting. I hope the camera caught that. The fans just. <gasps> Dude. Okay, okay. This is good. Ready? To any spirit or entities in this room, we mean you no harm. We've learned a lot about you, and we're wondering if we can ask you some questions in front of us are these dowsing rods. Feel free to manipulate them. Cross them for yes, pull them apart for no. We're here at the Prince of Wales Hotel in room 207. There's been reports of you turning lights on and off, of you turning the faucets on and off, of people seeing you in their sleeps, of you touching people, and we're just curious. Is someone here? Okay, reset your rods. Is the spirit that is here Molly McGuire? Is the spirit that is here a woman? Yes. Did you die here at the hotel? Nothing. Are you from the 1900s? No. Reset. Are you from the 1800s? Yes. <clears throat> this is crazy, dude. Are you a good spirit? Yes. Aww. Good. Okay guys, before we leave this room, we wanna try some like EVP, see if we can pick anything up. I'm gonna have like the little EMF reader right here, see if it goes off. I'm just gonna ask some questions to the silent room and see if we can catch anything. If this is a different spirit than Molly, please make that second green flash. Right when I said it. Okay. Are you friendly? Are you a man? <gasps> Double. Dude, it went up to the middle one. Okay, okay, okay. Did you die in the hotel? Did you die on the land that was here before the hotel? 
Are you a good spirit? I think your butthole might be on this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Stop! Joel, I have an important it's question. It's so hot. Spirit, thank you for the visit. I have an important question. I brought two moo moos. Can we just put them on for a moment? New. No, no, for fun. New. No, please. No, no, please. Please. No, no. Spooky ghost moo moos. Spooky ghost moo moos. going on but this camera keeps stopping recording and I don't know when it's doing it. It's not telling me when it's doing it. Anyways, before we do an investigation here, I think we might as well just jump down to the basement, get it done because we're so close to 3 a.m. and she said that lots of weird stuff has happened down there. So there's no chance that we are not heading down there like <laughs> immediately. Guys, I am so happy we are here and just getting back into the whole entire spooky vibe because honestly, my podcast is literally launching this thursday and it is just gonna be the most fun thing in the whole world well i say fun but it's actually gonna be super spooky it's gonna be reformatted i know before we were all about ghosts i'm not going the right way am i <laughs> i know it was all about ghosts but this time is the kind of podcast where you can't look away we're gonna be talking about stuff that is going to shock you and rock you i'm talking spooky stuff i'm talking death i'm talking about horrible things that we've all lived through but you're gonna love it so please head over to apple or wherever you get your podcast rate and review it and pretty pretty please pretty pretty please hit that subscribe download those episodes that's how you're gonna make my world a better place how are you feeling heading down nervous. to the basement yeah what are you afraid very of very nervous what are you afraid of Ghosts, man. why are you afraid of them though what are they gonna do to you oh it's just scary eat you i can't believe she's like yeah go in the basement in the middle We're of the almost night there. yeah just <laughs> why is it not opening Get scared out of you. Oh my gosh. So cool. It's so weird that even at like four o'clock in the night, in the middle of the night. Everything is still so awake here. And no one's getting treatment at 4 a.m., buddy. <laughs> Right behind that one. Isn't that beautiful as I was? 
Oh my gosh, Joel's reflection in that scared the life out of me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. Let me know in the comments. Are you absolutely afraid of elevators opening? Because I know that I am. Okay guys, I'm not gonna say it enough. I never can. 90% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Take this time to subscribe. Take this time to subscribe to my podcast. The Haunted Estate. Please, it's coming out. I just wanted to do well, guys. I wanna talk to you. I wanna create cool things. And I'm a sassy bean. Dude. Come here. Come here. The light you said didn't work. It doesn't. <laughs> I literally called you to go turn the lights on because I felt cold behind me. Dude! That's weird. Still cool staying here, bud? Let's get out of here. What do you see? I'm telling you right now. What? I had that same vibe as we did in the basement, and I literally heard someone coming down the stairs, and there was nobody there. What? Okay, guys, so if you don't know, um, I kind of grew up in one of the most haunted houses in our town. And in my early, like late teens, early 20s, I worked a lot in the paranormal industry. And I talk a lot about like, we've been doing a lot of funny stuff tonight, but if you've watched all my other haunted hotel videos, you see kind of a more serious side. And like my personality now is just like really fun and stuff. But I've worked in some pretty crazy paranormal cases. I've been some really crazy places all over the world. I was really lucky before the rain warm passed away. We had a phone conversation once. Um, I'm known for certain things and things that like I've kind of done in the past. And my first actually episode of The Haunted Day, I'm actually gonna go into my gift and the things that I've seen. And it's a really serious episode. It's something that I've learned to control and that I like tap into and stuff like that. So let me know if you want like a really serious ghost video. I'm down to do that. This one was just kind of like our first time back to YouTube. Like, hey, I'm back, it's time to get spooky. So I wanted it to be really fun. But the truth is I have a lot of stories and I've seen a lot of things and sometimes I'm scared to open myself. Um, I'm also afraid of this painting back here. <laughs> Come on. Like, she's really beautiful but there's like a big scratch and I really think it looks like my brother. So in the comments let me know if you think it looks like my brother too. <laughs> It's a different dog though. No, that's the same dog. Maybe that's before he made him hard. Look at that handle, eh? Wow. Dude, it's so foggy. Oh, it's foggy. So this is where the original building ended, eh? Yeah. So it's right here. Wow. Uh, but think of that like as a house or a hotel or whatever it was in the end. Back like, in the day. Foggy. All that is built on. Wow. This is the eeriest thing. Like, look at this. This is Niagara this is like, on the lake. This is like Silent Hill. This is like, they're coming for you. Like, this is so scary. Yeah, growing up, uh, my dad, he worked at a uh, factory and he worked afternoon shift quite often. And the one day he got home from afternoon shift and as he was coming up the steps to go to bed, he could hear Selena talking to someone in her bedroom. And he just opens the door, just a crack, just to see her and he, who? Who are you talking to, Selena? Who are you talking to, Selena? And Selena, sitting up in her crib, clear as day, says, The people in the wall. And my dad just closed the door. Not dealing with that. <laughs> yeah, when, when I was little, like, I used to have, like, this, I don't know if it was an imaginary friend, but really weird things would happen around our house where, like, things at a child's height would be kind of moved, like, dressers would be pulled out, pictures would be flipped over and stuff like that. And I had said, like, oh, it's, like, 
it's my friend Mary or whatever. So my mom one day ended up seeing this little girl underneath the table. So she called in a local historian who mapped out like the entire property, like blueprints. And we found out that one of one of kind of the founders of our, of our town had lived there with their family and one of their daughters had died of scarlet fever. Her name, Mary Agnes Nellis. So she is the one that haunted our old house. And sometimes like I feel bad that I left there and like I drive by there cause I'm just like, Hi, Mary. Miss you. But look at this place. The Nellis family is a big uh, founding father family to the hometown that Selena and I grew up in. But anyways, Niagara on the lake. Look at this building. I'll try to back up, get you guys a full shot here. There's Selena. Looking like a boss. Look at this building. That is spooky. Let's head back. Let's finish our investigation because I want to get in that bathtub. Okay guys, I just kind of want to wrap up this room. We've literally sat here, we tried the EVP, we even put on a spirit box in here and literally nothing came through. But when we did first come in, before we were camera setting up, we had everything setting down, we were kind of getting set up and we heard someone knock on this wall. So then I thought, oh, it's the neighbors are being funny and we knocked to them and then they knocked back. But then I was like, you know what? I don't know if anyone's there. So we ended up going downstairs to the concierge and we were like, hey, is anyone in this room? And there isn't. Let's see if they'll do it. We just might as well try one last time. It was almost as loud as we did it. And at first I thought it was just someone trying to be funny. Well, first instinct I was like, Joel! But then we did it to them and they did it back. And I'm like, grab the camera. And then they didn't do it back in. So, but I thought it was funny. So we went down, but there was no one there. So we have decided since that happened, we are going to stay in this room tonight. Um, honestly, this room just has a way eerier vibe than the like one that actually we had the dowsing rods and stuff in. So we're gonna hang out. We're gonna do this. We're gonna sleep here. Um, can we keep a light on? Yeah, of course. Okay, because I requested actually. <laughs> I would prefer a light. How has been your first night in a haunted hotel? Uh, I'm on edge. I'm yeah. on edge, I'm not gonna lie. Are you down to do it again? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down to do it again. But Selena suggested we sleep in separate rooms. I was like, what is this, Scooby Doo? I don't think so. <laughs> so we're gonna have an old school Christmas sleepover party, aren't we? Dude, you just sleep right there. I'm sleeping right here. All right, guys, we're gonna go to sleep. Wish us luck. <laughs> hopefully you just see us in this morning and everything went good or is that not a hopefully because we want to see things happen hopefully things happen but like not like that they're gonna scar us for life okay bye Stop kicking my feet. i am not touching your feet so my that... feet are here your feet are at the kick your feet up your feet are at the bottom of the bed over there buddy are you serious not kicking my feet what do you feel like like you kicking my feet from where though? Under the covers? No, like right there, yeah. What the heck? Bro. I'm scared. Did you eat cheese before you I'm went to bed? with the light on. I don't. Dude. Okay, well, you know what I thought of, by the way? What? First, that's very spooky. Second, we've never had a sleepover party. Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's not from our entire childhood growing up forever. Come here. Come here. Okay. You gotta tell me a ghost story before you fall asleep. Uh, because, listen to me, if someone's touching your feet, I feel like you're joking with me. Selena, stop touching my feet. My, I'm not touching your feet right now. My feet are right here. What the heck? I swear you just touched my feet. I would, like, put your feet down. I couldn't even hit your feet down yeah, there. my knees. <laughs> Is <laughs> you sure? Do you think you can still sleep here? Yeah. There you, do you want them to cuddle now? You, like... Honestly, at this point, have you just given up and you're like, just yeah. do, yeah. Okay, well. Okay, guys, we just woke up. We got ready for the day. It was a pretty good night. We kept it really cold in here. Personally, after the foot thing, I just had the weirdest dreams all night. Kind of terrifying, kind of like American Horror Story circusy kind of dreams, which I never have scary dreams. Um, my dreams are always hilarious or insane or I don't dream at all. How was your night? I slept like a baby after the foot thing. I was pretty tired yesterday because we stayed up late. Like nothing? You no, had no, no vibes? I had nothing. What no, about dreams? What did you dream no about? No dreams. I was just out. Out like a light. Just out like a light. Well, guys, that wraps up the Prince of Wales Hotel. Weird. It was a great night. I'm excited to listen back and watch back and see if there's anything that we do see or do kind of experience, but I'm glad you came along for the ride. If you're into more haunted videos, drop a like down below, let me know in a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and please check out my new podcast coming out on Thursday.
the hottest state.